An Easter egg? What? Welcome, I'm Hawaiian Shirt Papa. Sometimes with others, I visit a variety of antique, vintage, and thrift shops within Southern Ontario. Sometimes we don't get anything. Come tour with me vicariously. Hello, and welcome to another tour by Hawaiian Shirt Papa. This time it's the Talese store in Mississauga at Dixie and Dundas. It's a good sized store. Uh, you'll get an overview in just a moment. Deep and wide. Okay. They've got the women's stuff in the front here. Some other places have changed some of this aspect. In any case, I'm heading over to the men's, primarily to look for the Hawaiian shirts. Yes, yeah, the men's section, all right. But I'm not finding the short sleeve shirts. Ah, there they are. Well, not really Hawaiian. Hmm. Ah, it's more of a business attire version. No. Looking again. Ah, here we are. Another one. And the hard goods. Interesting selection of hard goods. I'm going to jump back and forth because there's a whole bunch of uh, uh, items that are side by side. A bit incongruous. That's uh, a headlight assembly for some, some sort of automobile. Yeah, there's the Easter egg. Buck 99. Now, I'm not sure if it's an actual egg shell, but it has the shape of it. Now, this box was intriguing. Opened it up, and I found these little piece, bits of glass that have the Bavaria. Bohemia, sorry, Bohemia glass stickers on everything. All six of these. These are called salts. And even the spoons that are used to pick up some of the salt to place on your food instead of a salt shaker. This is what they, they used to do. And uh, they all have the sticker. So they're all crystal. So here we are. And they were made, in, I believe the stickers kind of, or the stamp's been mushed a bit by the tape and, so, and it wasn't very clear to start with, but I think it said Czechoslovakia, which is where the Bohemia ended up be, being part of. Now we all know that the country's been, they've decided to choose, separate themselves from each other, from the Czech Republic, from the Slovak Republic, so. And then we have these cheese markers. Sharp, creamy, stinky, mild, and hard. And we're wandering through another part of the store and we find all the plates. Like the hard goods are right beside some of the soft goods. And that's why you're seeing it kind of like this. Shoes. There's quite a bit of shoes there. The bag goods. The 
back of the store. That's the corner. We've got shoes here. And the hard goods were really close to there. That's the corner again. Some glassware. Shoes again. And the testing table was right in the middle of the back. And that's where you find the uh, unmentionables or underwear, bathing suits. These were sporting goods. And they got f framed art and frames themselves. There's the rest of the sporting goods. And the books were actually up close to the front. So they, they, they're, they're, I think it's a good location for them. Then I noticed, hold on, they put these Hawaiian shirt themed swim trunks right up by the books near the front. Yeah, it's kind of close to the men's wear, but it's not exactly there. Anyway, then you have the, the glass counter, which is the lock, locked up stuff. And that's a pretty close to the end of it. There were interesting things they had inside there. And nothing that I got. I got the salts, just in case you're wondering. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'd hope you to give us a like and a subscribe and a, maybe even a tinkle of the bell so you'll get notification for the next time. Thanks a lot, folks. Bye-bye.